Welcome back to No One. We're jumping back into Everspace 2. We'll be rocking our striker again. Recently did a lot of upgrades to the ship, and now we're going to be taking on this next mission here. Double Trouble and Corrosive Death Seedo System. This is going to be, as it says here, two bosses, so two destroyers, and then uh, every enemy, when they explode, they'll have corrosion fields that pop up. So it's a 200 plus loop, so that's going to be really nice. And we'll keep the scorpion in our, our bay here just so we have it. Uh, everything else I'm feeling pretty good about. I'm very excited to use the shield in this fight. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna get up some crafting items for health and shields and stuff like that. Plenty of health, plenty of shields. Let's activate this. Feeling pretty good. Let's head over and take care of that mission. Definitely want to take out that for sure. No. Let's try it our super actually. I just gotta say, this this build, this striker, is kinda sick. I don't know, I don't know if it's like armor or whatever be the case, but I just felt like I was dominating and I barely lost shields. There was a couple times where I wasn't sure what was going on, but like this quantum tether turns the target into a tether anchor that connects to them. Up to five surrounding enemies will also receive all damage applied to target, and damage is increased by 5% with each tether target. That makes this build absolutely insane. I, I actually have not used that too much in this build because I just I haven't had a place to use it really, um, but let me tell you, that thing is 
I didn't even notice the game at 50% armor. That's amazing. Oh my god. That's crazy. Alright. We gotta be kinda careful here. Do is pop our shields. Come there. Alright, let's get in there. Oh, I can do that. Right here. This. because I got a lot of loose to check out. No, I'm not going to rip those. Uh, do I see what I think I see? Is that? Is that? I don't know what that is, but we're going to find out. Let's head in there. Grab all our loot. Okay. Nice. No NG core. Oh my god. Did we just get... <laughs> Let's go! No way. What is that? What? We got a legendary booster? Are you kidding me? For the record, I have not found one on the ground yet. This is amazing. Boosting builds up charge of latent thrust, which will, will enable the ship to quickly dash desired direction with a restore 10% boost. No way. No way. I, I can't. This is awesome. you got to be kidding me. I didn't think you could get legendaries from just the base game. Like, I thought you had to do the, the, the end game stuff, but this is awesome. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh, I can't believe that. That's so cool. Let's check out the rest, too. We got that's really good, too, actually. Like to see that. We got a new Pulse Laser, which is better than mine. It's Starforged, which is new. Haven't found one of those yet. Oh my god. That's awesome. I just, let's go. Oh my god, we got a legendary. Are you kidding me? Holy crap. Uh, we got a lot of good stuff here. Oh my god. Actually, this is going to be really good uh, for my next build that I'm working on. It's health points. That's nice. I like that a lot. All right, well, I mean, that went really well. I feel like we absolutely crushed that. Let's head back to base. We're back home. Took a little bit of damage out there. But let me tell you, I am extremely happy. We got our first legendary drop, actually from the world, instead of from a mission, which I am stoked about. We actually might as well just equip Rahas. That's so cool. I think you only have two legendaries attached at once. But oh, that's amazing. That's so cool. I mean, look at this thing. This thing looks sick. Oh my god. So I don't think this is definitely something we'll definitely use. This legendary is something we'll probably use in another build. Uh, based off what it's doing, it seems like it's being more of a faster movement. This could be good in like a sniper build or even just a, I think a Vanguard's pretty fast mover. Well, let me tell you, I'm stoked about that. That's amazing. Pull out all the legendaries. So we got a nice energy core. Pretty good for just in general. Got a pulse laser, which is actually an upgrade for this ship directly. All right. That's looking pretty nice. I would have loved to have the upgrade before, but we didn't really need it. We got some pretty good sensors right now. Too crazy, but I'll take them. Cruise missiles are amazing. I can put this on my, uh, my bomber. Uh, upgrade that one too, which I'm quite happy about. Lots of damage there. This, I'm actually very excited for we have a build that i want to do next it's going to be kind of a one single video build i think where i want to make a sort of armored transporter 
Um, I think I'm going to try and rock a Vindicator, which is, I think, the drone ship. We're flying around. We're trying to keep ourselves safe, so we have drones that protect us from enemy bands. But we're able to, like, go around, and what I would like to do is I might jump into getting a full-blown legendary right the rip, so I have that maximum cargo space for that type of ship, and then try and get a higher-level cargo unit. So I hope you enjoyed. This is a really fun experience. I have to say the Striker, especially with that ultimate build, <sighs> It is amazing. Definitely will be rocking this more often. Uh, this is definitely a fun ship to rock. So if you haven't used a striker yet in Everstays 2, I'd recommend you doing it. And if you have, let us know in the comments below. On to the next. Super excited. First legendary drop. Love that. So jump to the next one with you. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.